All right, hey, welcome back. This is what we got going on today. This particular one is gonna be on putting a seven-way trailer light plug on his trailer. His trailer came with a six-way plug on it whenever he bought it used. Um, this was for a long time what everybody used whenever I started out in the trailer industry. Yes, that was my first real job was uh, building all kind of trailers that was what we put on them not the case anymore so we'll go ahead and jump right into this thing if you look right there on the uh, cover to his seven-way plug and I don't know if it's showing up really good but it gives you a wiring diagram and I'm gonna put one of those in this video whenever I'm editing everything together but that right there if you don't know what your uh, how it's supposed to wire up that's going to show you right there and your trailer plug is going to be a mirror image if that makes sense and i'll see if i can illustrate that a little bit better whenever i edit all this so we'll go ahead jump into it and get her going careful not to strip the insulation on your two wires in there and this particular two wire conductor is going to have a black and a white Then you got a three wire put together. It's gonna to have a brown, a yellow, and a green. Okay, the first thing I did that I done off camera was I got under the trailer and I looked to see which one of these two wires in this two two wire conductor that they ran to ground. And in this case, they did run the black to ground. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take don't take your set screw all the way out. It doesn't have to come out because this is a slot. Just has to be able to get that out of there. Hold on. This particular one has got this little LED bulb that was in here to show you whenever it's energized. No biggie. That's just the only one they had left on the shelf at Tractor Supply whenever I went through there. Go ahead. Slip the body of your plug on there. Do that first. Because if you don't, you get everything wired up, then you can't get that on. All right. Start with the two-wire conductor. Like I said, I know that the black is going to ground. That means the white is going to be hot. Okay. That takes care of those two. Black and white. Ground. Hot to the brakes. Industry standard. These three. Brown is your tail lights. Yellow is going to be your left turn. Think about being on the road. Yellow line, left side. Yellow line is on your left side. The green grass in the ditch is on your right. So the green wire is going to be the uh, blinker for your right side. Green grass in the road ditch, right side. Yellow, yellow line on the road. There you go. That's how I remember it. That's how it was taught to me whenever I was a teenager doing this. And note that uh, your turn signal wires are also your brake lights they double so if this was these are typically or a lot of times they're referred to as an rv plug rv trailer is going to have reverse lights bu backup and then it'll also have an auxiliary to charge batteries things like that so we're going to make our connections
marker lights on and I've got the right turn signal on. There's a marker light. All right, there's right turn. We'll go up and swap it over. And I suggest testing it the way that I'm testing this. Here's why. Let's check our blinker, our left turn. Yep. When you've got your tail on, your tail lights, your running lights on, you want to check it and make sure whenever you turn, you want those on and you want to turn the blinker on and make sure that you you don't have all your lights flashing when you do that. And what that indicates typically is a bad ground. That's why I like to run the marker lights whenever I'm testing blinkers. Just a helpful little tip there. So anyway, that that's how you wire up a seven way plug. And uh, if you like content like this, hey, this is what we do. Um, we own tractors, trucks, stuff like that. And uh, to keep it on the road, keep it going, you gotta do a little bit of maintenance and that requires learning all kinds of different stuff. And I like sharing that information. Hey, I learned it somewhere too. I wasn't just born with all this. You gotta figure it out for yourself, gotta learn it. YouTube is an excellent, excellent tool. It is a I just, I, I'm telling you, if YouTube would have been around when I was a teenager and just learning how to do all this, I'd have had a lot less bumps and bruises along the way. So, if you like this kind of stuff, remember, you know, we really would appreciate it if you would uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, throw us a like down there. Click that notification bell. That'll let you know whenever we've got a uh, new content out. Um, we're always into something, you know, and, uh, we appreciate you taking your time watching our stuff. And uh, remember, you're going to get that on them big jobs. We'll catch up with y'all later.